All right, this is the bonus video that I promised you, how you can add uh, speech recognition to your Translate app that you made. Uh, what we first need to do is actually add the built-in media component called Speech Recognizer. It's a non-visible component, so it'll go down there. So you just drop it on the white here, and it'll automatically drop there. We don't need to rename it. We do need to add a button, though, to make it work. So I'm going to actually put the button in the middle, and I'm going to have it say Talk. Rename it to button talk. And then I'm going to bold the font so it fits right in. Now, in the blocks editor, when we click on button talk, we need to go to the speech recognizer. We have it need to have it get the text from the speech recognizer. Well, the speech recognizer, I'm sure you've probably all used before, but if you haven't, basically you talk, and then when there's enough of a gap where you know you haven't talked, then it's going to automatically stop. So it's, I think it's like a second or something. So if you talk, like you say, hey, how are you? And you just stop like that, it'll recognize that you stopped, and it'll automatically start to, it, to save that text into like this file that's out in limbo that it's doing nothing with. So what you need to tell is after getting the text what to do, well, we want to duplicate this. However, we don't want it to do that. We want it to get the result and translate that. And then we want to put in text box translated, set the source of the text right here. We want to set the text to, again, the result. And it is that easy. Now, I can't show you this on the emulator. The emulator doesn't have the speech recognition built into the version of Android that's on the emulator. Uh, if you're testing it on your phone right now, you should see that it will work. Um, but that's it. It is really, truly that simple to add the voice recognition to it. The other thing you could do if you wanted is you could go and put this here. And you could set the text to... Uh, now you don't want to do the result down here you actually want to go here and go to result and drag that over for that one and um, if you do that then that would also put what you just said in the other box and some people would actually leave this uh, like this and then You can also put that down there like that if you're going to keep this but some people will put this like this up here and the, or just this top one here we can get rid of that, put that there, and then that would actually be how they would translate it. They would just put it so that it was in the top box, and then they hit the submit button. Um, and you can do that if you like. I really think this is better down here. And then you could use this result here if you wanted. It doesn't matter either way. It'll work either way, but I want you to see that, that it will work either way. And um, that's it. That really truly is it. Um, I showed you all the different ways you can do this, all the different little features you can add with it. You can add it to both text boxes and you can make it work. So mess with that and uh, try it on your phone and get it working and uh, see what else you can do with it. See if there's other things you can add to it. Maybe there's different buttons you can add that do different things. Maybe you can go on and get the language codes and do a drop down menu for the different languages or something. So just work with it and uh, figure it out and for App Inventor, um, don't be afraid to use it. I mean, this designer view, you're not going to mess anything up. And these little question marks, just click on them, and it'll tell you what everything is. All right, so good luck. I hope you enjoyed the course. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. I hope it was a big help to you. And I hope that you're able to go on and learn how to make apps through this and eventually be able to submit them to Google Play and make a lucrative living or make some extra cash, whatever you want to do. All right, thank you very much. And I hope to see you in some of my other courses. Bye-bye.